remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. playing Unicorn Overlord last week, so I'm glad I'm here to play it today. 
Hey, oops, the cat just jumped off my lap. That was a bit scary. Hey, the Kinder Jaeger. Hey, Shinobu Mail. Hey, Dr. Doctor. Hey, T Ram. Thank you all for tuning in so early. I appreciate it so much. I know it's an awkward time. The time zone change has not been kind to us. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that, honestly, because the time still works okay for me, but it is very early. Oh, I've got my coffee, though. I've got my cat. Look, the cat just left. I've got my unicorn overload ready to go. Should we jump in and get started? Let me just fade out this music. I don't know if that actually fades out for you when I do that. I need to get like a stream deck or something so I can actually control that properly. He refused to lose. Hey, 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 Shinobu Mail. Um, and you should now get the game audio. And we should now see the game. 9.30. 9.30 is not too bad. It's maybe a little bit late. Like, 7 o'clock I think would be ideal. It's just so hard. Why does everyone need to be in a different time zone? Hey, Winter Wolf, good to see you. I also probably need to get some more coffee about halfway through the stream. Um, I have gone and fixed the kill chain scripting. I've actually gone and re-scripted pretty much everybody in our army, okay? And you got it, Shinobu, well done. Uh, so the scripting is done, but the one thing we need to address before we kind of move on with the game is we now have a bunch of new characters. So um, if I just jump in here, oh, hang on. I'm in, I'm in the, uh, I was in the expansion menu there. We now have, um, we now have Berengaria, uh, Aramis, and Prim, all addition to the army. Hey, Lisi, thanks for joining the stream. Good to see you. Um, as well as Selvi, Nina, and, well, Dennis doesn't really count. He's a rando. So I kind of want to start involving these new characters. Now, what I'm thinking is we increase the size of one of our squads and add Berengaria into it. And the squad I was thinking of increasing the size of was Lexus. Um, this is a squad that I think is really falling behind because even though I like to meme it, let's face it, Lex is not a particularly good character. Oh, I need to move my chat. Um, chat needs to go back over here. Chat got moved for... Uh, I know that chat's over stuff at the moment. I'll get fixed in a second. Hey, it's all the things. Um, joining us from Twitch. Um, good to see you. Thanks for joining in. Uh, you are the first person on Twitch to join the stream. So um, that's double exciting. <laughs> good to see you. Um, that's just for Dennis. <laughs> it's Denise, I think, because he's only got one N. So what I'm thinking is we expand the size of Lex's unit and we possibly dump Lex from that unit. Um, I think Albin's unit's doing good. Hodrick's unit's fine for what it is. Rolf's unit, Sharon's unit are fine. So in terms of units that need to get to four people, it's either Leah's unit, which to be fair, does need a buff, or Lex's unit. And Lex's unit has been around for longer. And we have enough honor to increase that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna increase the size of this squad. And I'm going to add Berengaria to it. Now I'd like to add Berengaria to Elaine's unit, but she doesn't really need to be there. And I think that's just for, that's a bit Mimi. So I think we're gonna add her to Lex's unit. She's definitely tanky. Um, now, if we make her the leader, recover HP and stamina faster when Garrison. Let's get kicked out of his own unit, there's no justice in the world. Well, he's not getting kicked out yet. Take less damage from ranged attacks, reduce weight time while resting. That's actually probably the best thing to, the best leadership. No, Recover HP and Stamina Fast is probably the best one right now. Um, in terms of equipment, what's Spare and Gary got? She's got an Iron Axe and an Iron Great Shield. Awesome. I'm really happy to hear when my playthroughs get people into games like High Fleet. That's the whole reason I started streaming, well, started doing recordings, was really to get people into these games. Um, so it's awesome to hear that, that you're enjoying High Fleet, and I hope you're going well with it, and I hope you maybe even got a win. Um, in terms of other weapons available, I've got a Recruit Axe, a Bronze Axe. This thing does 15 physical damage, which is actually a lot. Um, I don't really have any better axes. In terms of Great Shields, Physical Defense 6. The Iron Great Shield is actually really good. I just need to give her some accessories. Um, we can give her a Brown Beret, and we can give her maybe a Bangle. Some extra defense. I'll look at some better equipment for her later. Uh, so she's got Death Spin Row with... Two plus combatants. I need to actually have a look at those abilities. So attacks a row of enemies, inflict stun, plus 75 potency versus afflicted targets. Interesting. Um, or inf attack a single enemy, inflicts AP minus one. So if just multiple enemies, she'll do a spin attack. If there's only one enemy, she'll do a single attack. Activate at the start of the battle, inflicts attack minus 20, she'll minus 10 on all enemies. That's pretty cool. And sanguine pursuit. Attacks after an... E Follow up after attack a single enemy. User, user recovers HP with 50% damage dealt. You grants the use of plus one PP versus afflicted targets. So we need to find a way to afflict people. 
I'm pretty sure Pally can take Baron Gary to Bone Town. So that's what we do. She'll need to be fighting by his side. She doesn't actually need to be fighting by his side, t -Ram. We can also have Elaine take her on dates. Uh, which I haven't done any of yet because we wanted to make progress through the story. Um, but if we want to take Baron Carey to Bone Town, we can just date her. Um, well, there's a there's a an event. Oh yeah, we'll we'll quickly travel to this um, cemetery, and then we'll get on with things. Oh, I haven't actually checked these towns out. What have they got available? User earns 100 plus 100 percent XP. Guard plus 25. Heal 10 percent when using active skill. That's quite a good shield. And then a bunch of iron equipment. What's a Karnat sword? Initiative plus two. So initiative plus two weapons. Interesting. And what have they got in terms of supplies? I've also gone and spent money on supplies as well. So, like, we don't have to worry about doing that today. Uh, can't deliver anything here. There's another town down here. Oh, there's also stuff to loot. I haven't actually looted this battlefield yet. What have you guys got? Poison immunity. Quick barrier. Activates before an ally is attacked. Reduce damage taken by by 50%. Interesting. Got a bunch of shields in here. Uh, bronze circlet is new. That's just magic defense. Okay. And anything interesting at the provisioner? Got a keen eye on you. Nothing new there. And deliveries. I can deliver the team where they, team where they want. So this charming little pour of a coffee kit, which I love. It's fantastic. So most like this one, I just want an instant cup of coffee, not grind beans into all this extra stuff. I know exactly what you mean. Um, the city that I live in has like a crazy love affair with coffee, and they really take it very, very seriously. And I just use a cafetiere when I have my coffee most of the time. Like I'm really not that fussed about it. And people look at me like I'm insane that I do so little to make my coffee. It's actually crazy. Was oh, that our? Um, is that our angel? Did she come over here? Oh, excellent. That saves me a lot of hassle. All right, um, I have nine divine thingies, but I think I want to buy stuff down here. This is really good stuff down here. So we've already bought... Um, these will increase stats. That gets base AP by one. That gives us stability. So I probably want to get another Carnelian Pendant. We'll save up for 20. But yeah, so I'm, um, I I'm, I'm marked out as a bit of a weirdo because I just like my coffee out of a cafetiere. Because it's nice and quick to make, and I don't really want to fuss around with it too much. Um, it's actually quite hard. I actually find it quite hard to find a cafetiere here. <laughs> People really like their pour-overs and their cold drip and stuff here, and it's just... It takes too long for me. I'm not a coffee snob. I just like my caffeine. I'm just grabbing some stuff from the battlefield, because there's actually a lot of stuff lying around. Can we can we cut through here? No, we can't. Um, there's a quest over to the top right. This is the town that we liberated last time. I've already bought stuff from here. Uh, let's go check out this quest over here. And then we'll get on with, with getting some more battles going. There's also some stuff to loot over here. And a fortress I haven't checked out yet as well. Oh, we might actually be able to get some Griffin Knights. Ugh. The bandits we fought on that last job practically swarmed us the second the battle started us. I remember, yes. Each of the units bore four members. A challenging task to overcome. Maybe we should try boosting our max unit size too. If we've got the owners for it, I mean. I suggest you do the same, good sir. The size of a given unit is, at times, the most important improvement you can make. Hold a moment. It would seem this is a lesson you've already learned. You've got a good head on those shoulders, kid. Try and make sure you never lose it. Cool. I got free honors for um, already doing the thing I wanted to do. That's great to know. Let's just keep looting all this stuff. Hey, Nortonius. Good to see you. Thanks for jumping by the stream. Happy Friday, indeed. Saturday for me, but only me, I think. And, and um, Winterwolf is also on Saturday. Right, what's, what's available for, for purchase at this fort? Oh no, um, higher. So we can get Wyvern Knights here. Boosts high evasion, attack, physical defense, effective versus cavalry based foes such as knights, ineffective versus foes with anti flying skills. I would like to get one, I just don't have room. I really just do not have room for any flying, any new. So it's like we're finally booting Lex. Lex has not been booted. Lex is still in his squad. I have not booted Lex. I mean, we could, if we wanted to, replace Lex with Aramaeus or Prim. But I haven't done that yet. I kind of want to put Prim and Aramis in a squad together because I feel like they are going to have um, some romance stuff together. So the option is we can head east here or we can head south by the looks of it. We just have a look at the map. So um, the game seems to want us to head east uh, to the black market trader or we could head down south and see what's going on down here. I think we're going to head south and just see what's happening there first and then we'll go east. So let's see what's, what's going on down here. It's easy to get bogged down in the desert, you know. Anyone who's not flying will move way slower in the sand. Those side items can increase your speed, mine. Better take a few of these just in case. Okay. So, already we're in trouble. 
Okay, this is a custom battle location. What a wonderful fortune, we've come across a new sigil. Now, that allow me to activate its power. So we can do some repeatable battles here to level people up. I don't think we need to worry about that right now. I think we're doing okay for experience. We maybe need to come back and do these at some point, though, because I get feeling we're going to get something for completing them all. But let's see what's down here. Oh, we got a cutscene. Ah, such stifling heat. Indeed, my prince. Traversing the sands without a guide will prove an endeavor most perilous. Heat's not the only thing that will choke you out here. What do you mean? These wastes were once a place of exile for the convicts and criminals of Drakenhold. Even to this day, the people live in tense isolation, eager to assail anyone who comes from beyond its bounds. Not to mention the plethora of bandit camps, each lays claim to a swath of land, and would lay down their lives to see it protected. Oh, that's everywhere. Their thieving is what keeps the citizens of this region from feeding on more than just sand and empty dreams. And they help thin the ranks of Drakenhold's foul aristocrats. So the kingdom is more than willing to turn a blind eye. That's a really weird way of empire building. All that to say, it's no place for royalty like us. It's as if these barons are another nation entirely. Hmm. Just a sec there. Impertinent cretin. Does this look <laughs> like a conversation you should be interrupting? Did mean to offend. Anyways, it's kind of awkward saying this after that spiel about it being a criminal wasteland. We haven't seen Albin since like the first stream. But this is where I grew up. <sighs> The way I hear it, Zenora's running the show now. Don't know why they'd wanna, but they are. Hey, Lightning Dragon. Good you to see you. Thanks for joining on, on Twitch. See what's going on? I got Let me know how the stream's working over there. Just without the blood binding us. I'm worried sick about them. Can you do me a favor, Lightning? Can you do exclamation mark points on Twitch for me? right on your shoulders where they belong. I admit, a local guide would be helpful. Oh, I didn't carry them over. Damn. If the people of these dunes suffer under Zenoira's heel, then they deserve the same aid we offer everyone else. That, and I worry for Aubin's family. Let's be off. Appreciate it, boss. <laughs> so we've got, we've got into side side quest territory. We're already the side quest coming into this territory. Now we're going to go into further side quest. Albin has indeed been beat. Oh! <laughs> well, that's dramatic. Uh, they just came out of nowhere. Let's see what the... Um, I've, I've changed up some scripting for um, Albin's unit, actually. I'd like to see how that plays out. Oh, hey, Natronis, she joined on Twitch as well. You didn't actually miss. So much toxic throwing going on. Wow, we're just missing with every attack. This is not good. This is not going very well. Victorious, I'm just going to mod you on Twitch. You don't need to do anything there, but since you're there... I wonder if they do know Tronis. Three side quests make a, make, a, make a main quest? P very possibly. Okay, we did win eventually. That didn't go quite according to plan. But that's okay. That was just a random battle. Okay, there's a dude over there. I don't want to fight him. Oh. Like I said, these are my old stomping grounds. How about I give you the grand tour? Yeah, show us around. Beyond the swirling sands. Okay, there's actually a battle here. Let's, let's save and we'll do this battle. Get into some fighting. I'm keen to... To get some sand fighting on. I always quite like sand, like deserts as a fantasy setting. There's always like, you know, secrets and stuff and, and old people. I think it was a kill chain with Tilsa. So she should be configured properly for, for kill chaining. So we've got Wyvern Knights, Witches, and Gladiators in here. So our archers are going to be important. Um, Dragon Girls Desert and also our Griffins are going to be important. Dragon Girls Desert is a dangerous land of exiles and criminals, as well as a place where Albin grew up. Where he he cares about, Albin asks Elaine to serve the desert and offers to act as his guide. Let's go. 
Oh, this is a nice town. Just as Aubin said, we should have no trouble passing safely. And we finally have a clean source of water. This oasis is a godsend amidst all this sand. Too many good things are happening all at once. Hey, he's back. What news do you bring? All sorted. We're fine long as we're here. Meaning we're not fine everywhere else. Sorry to say it after all the hot air I talked, but yeah. Turns out we got a problem. Uh oh. How so? Well, you know how I said I got an in here? Old bandit pal of mine by the name of Magellan. Magellan? Runs <laughs> That's a name. He does it well. No, impl no implications there. Rumor has it he's a whole different man now. Has he gone and traveled the world? I don't know what happened to him, but he's been picking fights with other gangs for the past six months. I quite like Oban's voice actor. The voice acting in this game is very good. The writing sometimes a bit funny. The voice acting great. Noira probably got to him. Is there no way to avoid conflict? Not if I can't work something out. Anyone steps foot on his land, and they're as good as buried. Interesting. But I'm not stopping until I know what happened to him. So he's just turning he's basically turned into a DD character. He's turned into a murder hobo. Making a little detour to his keep. The choice is yours, as long as you're the one charting the course. And if Magellan is under Zenoira's control, we may just be able to loosen the spell. Let's go free with Magellan. Alright, how big is this map? That's the question. Listen up, boss. We've got two roads here we can take to the Bandit's Keep. The way up north's full of sorcerers, magic types turned over to the thieving life. Southern Road. Oh, listen to that music. On the other hand, it's got some of the toughest outlaws you've ever seen. From what I hear, the two sides have been going at it ever since Magellan flipped. And then there's the ruins up north, apparently claimed by a night gone rogue. Rumor has it they've been causing the town all sorts of problems. So there's a three way battle. Oh, and here. Like three light feathers. These sands will slow us down good, but use one of these and it'll be like you're back on solid ground. Just so you know, my prince, flying units like mine won't be affected by the desert either. Do it with that, whether you will. Thank you both. I suppose all that remains now is to deploy. Okay, so we've got a three way battle. Real quick, first we should be sending archers against that wyvern, yeah? You would expect as much, but the shield their fighter bears will render that tactic frankly powerless. In that case, why not send in a sorcerer instead? Wyvern knights are equally as vulnerable to magic as they are to arrows. Huh, I had no idea. Let's give it a shot, Elaine. Okay, so we're sending Hodrick up north. Okay, this is going to be pretty intense, I think. Defeat Magellan all the way over there, and we also need to clear the camps. All right, wish me luck, everybody. Okay, we're going to put our archers in this watchtower for sure. We need to take out this watchtower. There's another watchtower here. Um, I'm just having a look at how this is laid out. So we've got an archer watchtower over here. There's a campfire near the enemy boss. There is also a campfire here. I think what we're going to do is we will start off and set up a blocking position here. Could, like archers, um, possibly clerics, and a couple of units to just hold this area. Keep these two garrisons at bay. We're going to send um, probably Hodrick and my Wyvern Knights up north. So my Griffin Knights up north to clear out this and get it... Hey, um, the turn is... Uh, and get this cleared. Then... We'll see how it goes from there. I've got four deployment points at the start, so we need to kind of balance this between defensive units and offensive units. I think we definitely deploy more games units. Where's my prey? I think we also deploy a lanes unit. A lanes unit is going to be my blocking force. Yeah. They don't need healing support. Um, they can heal themselves. But but I want to fight the baddies, T Ram. If this is going south, we'll change our plan. I'm worried that if we don't clear the camps, we'll get overwhelmed very quickly. And if we get overwhelmed, it's it's not going to go well for us. Um, I'm going to deploy Hodrick's unit as well to go north. And then I'm also going to deploy Rolf's unit to support. They're actually going to support the northern push to start with. Um, what I don't want to do, though, is I don't want the enemy taking this watchtower. That would suck for us. Let's see how well Morgane's unit does here. So... Not as well as I would like, but with support, I think they'll be okay. Your orders, my we'll get everyone to move up together. Do you need something? And if we need to use, um, if we need to use any, um, what they're called, feathers, we will. Okay, the, yeah, we're gonna have to use a feather here because this is slow. 
Oops, that's not the right unit. I want to use a light feather. Because they're already slow. Clearing them out will get me experience, basically. Um, and I'll also take the pressure off because I'll stop spawning units to send my way. Back for more. Oh, they're fighting each other as well. Okay. This desert is ours, so we're never handing it over. Baron Sand Hammer Bear. And here I thought you magic types were supposed to be smart. Look, you're the one attacking a magic type with a hammer unit. The only people who we listen to are the ones who've got the strength to win. Time to find if that's you or not. It looks like they lost. What's the downside of a battle running out of town? You lose, you lose the battle. If you run out of time, the battle is over. That's it. There's no... Um, you, the battle just ends. Okay, we'll, we'll meet these guys on the edge of this area. Your orders, my liege. Oh, you're not going to do very much damage to them. You are going to hurt them. Let's get you to fight them. This is actually mm, a little bit of a struggle already. I really need you to catch up so we can give some range support. You're in range. That's good. So we'll do ranged assist. That's 126 damage. That's pretty good for opener. Really need to do... My, my, my archers aren't actually doing that much damage anymore. How good is that anti-cavalry attack? Here comes another one. Oh, I have you smash first. She's not as powerful as the other Griffin Knight, unfortunately. Let's two them down. Okay, let's be very careful here. I do not want them to run into these guys, so I'm just going to pull them, like, here, here, and then into here. So I'm just scripting them outside. You need to keep moving forward. Okay, that worked. Okay. You're not fit to be I'm here too. Archers, they get XP when they support, but their XP isn't great. We might need to maybe do some of those um, leveling battles to level them up a bit. Turns out Hodrick is great against uh, Wyverns. Good dodge. <laughs> that was the funniest dodge I've ever seen. That's some for oh no, good, he's still on fire. Because now we'll get a fire burst. Which is where all the damage comes from in this group. Alright. So I want 100 units to attack them. I want that unit to attack them. I'm actually going to send the arch. I, need, I think we need to keep the archer support with these guys. So we're just going to keep them moving forward. Heading there now. We need to get we need to get another deployment point ASAP. Oh, damn it! I can't see my own feet through all this sand. Those bandits, to be honest, in no time flat. So we've got a sandstorm. Get to the watchtowers. Visibility will be better if you get a little height. You heard the man. Let's get moving, Elaine. Yeah, but if I go to the watchtower, I'm going to lose. Oh, a unit just died in the in somewhere in the fog of war. A unit just died. Okay, Hodrick's unit should wipe these guys out without ranged assist. No hesitation. I wouldn't mind another sorcerer. I think, which is a good, but sore sorcerers. How are we going to kill this last one? Also, why aren't you attacking? I need to check her scripting. Why is she not attacking? Oh, Fire Burst goes off anyway. Okay, cool. Not a kill, though. Let's just have a quick look at her scripting. Why is she not attacking? Is she said to only attack? Ah, she's said to only attack if there's a full column. There's no point in actually saying that because that's her only attack. Right? She hasn't got another yet. So there's no point in having this here. Um, so I want to edit, and then I just want to... No, I want to... Remove that, and I remove that, and then I just want to prioritize caster. So, combat and type, prioritize caster. So, that just means she pro she'll focus the row that has a caster in it, but she will still attack, which is what she didn't do there. Um, Elaine has someone coming in a second. We'll get a couple of wipeouts here, which will give us enough to deploy it. some more units. I'll support you. Even with a fresh strike, we're taking damage, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, they've got ranged assist. Oh, wow, that damage. She should have cast Row Heal there. I don't know why she cast Warcry. There we go. Now she's casting Row Heal. 
Our scripting has us prioritizing Rohil. Oh, don't hit the cleric. Oof. That's a golf swing and a half. At least they managed to heal up really well. They're actually quite a good unit for operating on their own. Because they do have um, a lot of self-heal. Now the question is, can you guys take out these archers? Well, I can't tell. So we're going to have to find out. And we can also deploy another unit, so I'm going to deploy Berengaria's unit. Good choice. They won't escape. And I'm going to bring them over here. Loud and clear. There should be a unit coming to a lane really soon. Um, we'll just skip this fight. We know we're going to win it. That's a level up for our sorcerer and our spearman, which is great. Oh, oh, you're so terrible. Just an evasion level up. Come on. Rosette did a bit better. How shall I proceed? Keep moving north. Uh, I think... I think you guys need to come and get to this watchtower, honestly. I think we'll have to rely on these two doing this on their own. Oh! So they're, they're stealing gold from us. That's an annoying ability, honestly. Because he's going to run away from us now. Hey, never seen you in the dunes before. Think of this as a toll for crossing. Anyway, thanks for doing business. Yeah. They're going to run away. Try sending a flying unit after him, your highness. We can move through the sand just as easy as anywhere else. Yes, I already have a flying unit heading north. I've arrived. You got orders okay. Today? Damn, these guys are going to do a number on us if we attack them. I need to take out these archers before I do anything else. It's actually really important because they're going to ruin our flying units. If I try and attack here, we're just going to get wrecked. I'm going to take 28 damage if we attack there. It's not the damage isn't too bad. I don't think they'll kill us. We can maybe attack them and then get Hodrick to attack here. Even Hodrick's going to take a beating. It's just four archers. Why are they doing so much damage? Oh. <sighs> The other option is to just get both of them to attack. Well, let's see how this plays out. We also need to pay attention to down here as well. There were units coming in. There's another unit of thieves plundering from us. I'm a little bit worried I've overextended uh, with our flying units, honestly. I feel like I maybe need another unit up here. I wonder if I pull back and rest and then come in again once I've got another unit. But what can I send? Who can I deploy? I guess we could send Albin's unit up north, or we could send Leah's unit. Leah's unit's quite fast. <sighs> yeah, I wonder if we pull back and heal, because I think if I engage here, we're just going to get shot to pieces. You know Let's pull back and rest, and we'll get another unit deployed. I think that's the correct play here. Okay, the sand's gone. God, that's cleared up. No relaxing just yet. You never know what the next one's going to roll in. Try to remember where the enemies are now before it's too late. Okay. Just tell me what to do. So we've got a north and a south here. We have to deal with this tower. Berengaria can deal with the tower. Um, we'll get Elaine to escort her. And we'll get these two to pull back. I shall linger here for it makes sense so far? I shall be your shield. Now, can, do we have time to rest? There's a unit being deployed, but I think we're, we should be fine. About time. This is where they all get killed. Yeah, they'll be fine to rest. We're under attack. Oh, there's so much plundering going on. Actually, got no money left. They've stolen it all, and we can't get to them in time. The path is set. Unless I use a light feather. Well, let's see how that goes. Take cover. Oh, the, the, the plunder chain. There's less and less money being stolen each time because I have no money. This is disgusting. You face me. Good blocking, even though we got poisoned. They're all they're all really heavily relying on toxic throw these days. I've got it scripted to only really target armored enemies. I don't really like rolling axe on a single enemy. Go on, then. We ride. Nice, good hit. That made a big difference. Yeah, she can now cure poison, by the way, which is amazing. Oh, what a shame that missed. That would have been a great easy kill. We're gonna do no damage to them? Well, that's annoying. Yeah, how are we doing up here? 
There's a flying unit coming for us. That's a little bit concerning. Uh, let me just check that chat hasn't crashed because I haven't seen any chat for a while. Oh, okay, chat has indeed crashed. Um, I, I was like, why is nothing happening in my chat? Okay, it's just it's just caught up again. Um, I guess first is just sort of jump. What is coming to get you? I should know this by now, but since I'm running out of time, what are our XP like? And then I haven't seen anything. It's four level actually before, so they're they're tough. They're just trying to get a team together. Heist has begun. I'm, I'm annoyed that I didn't realize chat had crashed. I thought it was really quiet. You'll always like to meme about. Okay, we will get a kill here. There's too many chats. I've got Twitch chat, and I've got Blue Stream chat, and I've got YouTube chat. Too much going on. Is that better? There we go. That's one of the thieves dealt with. Well fought. And that's another deployment point, which is what we need. Let's keep pushing forward with these guys. Let's deploy... I think we're going to deploy Leah's unit. No, we're going to deploy Alvin's unit. They are absolute monsters. Let's get going already. And we're going to send them north. There now. And we just need to, these guys to refresh before... You face um, that's right, Lightning Dragon. It's okay. Um, we just want to make sure we're actually making progress here. Chat is quiet. It's because there's not as many people as normal. Because the time difference. And also not streaming last week has probably put a lot of people off. That's my bad. That's okay, though. I just want to keep getting through the Unicorn Overlord, honestly. I want to get this game finished before um, the Elden Ring DLC comes out, because I really want to play through the Elden Ring DLC, and I thought it might be quite fun to play through that on stream. Uh, we need to, today, when I get a chance, work on the audio for Mission 3 of the Nebulous Fleet com and Command Campaign. Um, I still get people asking me when I'm going to upload that to the workshop, but I have to keep explaining to them that it's uh, not that kind of campaign. <laughs> Uh, we've been going for about 30 minutes, Trog. So we haven't been going on for too long. This is our first battle in the desert. Now, we're probably going to have to spend an item to increase the um, stamina on this unit, but we'll keep pushing because we're doing great. As I said, Elaine's unit can pretty much operate independently. It doesn't need healing. I am a little bit concerned that these guys are going to get hit before they um, refresh. Archer support is now in the tower, which is great. Baron Gary is going to push for that tower. Your villainy ends here. You haven't missed a VOD, no. This is continuing right off us getting Berengaria last time. Thank goodness she has Poison Heal, by the way. I'm here to help. If only I had true hit on a sword. Oh, nice to um, return this. Glad to know that you enjoy the Elden Ring streams. I've actually been replaying Elden, Elden, um, Elden Ring in preparation. Because you need to beat Moog, and I haven't beaten Moog before. Um, yes, I, that's what I'm talking about, t -Rim. I need to get the lines sorted today. So I need to rewatch the video and work it all out. I'm glad we finally got a win, though. Okay, I'm definitely going to use a grilled steak. Oh, that's a bit too much. No, I think we'll hold the grilled steak until we're down to one stamina. Um, are you guys okay for health? Yeah, just, just keep pushing forward. That is fine. You're pushing forward here. You're coming up here. Let's see how we're going. I fear for our safety. Interesting, we're not going to win this fight. Is there something I can do to change the... Um, what I need is a way to, like... Change the, the, change the RNG seed. Let's add a smoked nuts and see if that does anything. No, I'm a bit wary about using too many items here. There's nothing here that actually gives me more accuracy, which is what I kind of want. Okay, it's all non-combat damage taking a stage for 10 seconds. Target HP, magic defense, physical defense, accuracy. Let's put let's put a lane's accuracy up and see if that changes anything. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. That's annoying. Um Okay, we just have to take the loss here. Even though it was, even though we had first strike, we actually take damage. That will also knock us back. Um, let's pull this this unit back to here, where they can rest. Oh no! 
Oh, look how close they were to recovering. Look how close they were to recovering. That's really annoying. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. They're just going to have to take the hit. So they get hit by two Griffin, by two Wyvern Knights. We lose our frontline unit. Big oof. Indeed, big oof. Um, let's get you guys in here. They're going to have to come back here and heal now. We're getting a little bit... Ah, uh, Elaine's unit's going to get hit now, too. At least they're going to... They're actually not going to do too badly here. We have lost a Sorcerer. Um, let's get a... I want to use a Revival Orb on her. Um, just so that she's back in action and she can get healed up. But we're going to have to use the smoked... Uh, the stake on this unit now. Oh, it's just T-Rem the only person who walked away from the heist, of course. Why do you ever join a heist if T-Rem is on the heist? Because T-Rem is the only person who will walk away from it. You have little faith, T-Rem. This is not going to be a big L. Watch this turn into a big W. We should get our units deployed. That's the hard bit. That was a nice wild rush. Unfortunately, no kill chain. But we'll get a magic missile here. And I can take care of the gladiator. Looks like Unicorn Garrett. It does. Yeah, it's a good one, Eternius. Look, we expect Mark Saiyan to show up in a second. Right. You guys need to use a smoke nut. And then... Oh, they're actually still resting. That's really annoying. But they should be fine. Um, up here is the concern. If you guys turn around and attack, you're actually going to do a decent amount of damage. Let's do that, but what we'll do is we'll use a Revival Orb on her to get her back into the fight. If you guys attack, how will you do? You can also attack. Okay, cool. Let's just wipe these guys out. Oh, we'll take eight damage, so nobody's going to die. We'll just do some damage to them. Yeah, but T-Ram, you're always going to just walk away with all the money. Sight to special fire Griffin. Yes, that's what our Griffinites are for. Some, we've got some good passive healing in our squads. It's just, what? Okay, I wasn't expecting to just lose her like that. I thought we were going to take 8 damage, so it's going to be fine. Misread it. Maybe we're going to get an L. <laughs> this is why I want to wipe out this garrison to the north, because they're going to keep sending griffins after us, uh, wyverns after us, if we don't do something about it. But unfortunately, losing her sucks. Um, I am going to send them back to rest. Unfortunately. I have to do that. Okay, they're going to take out these people here. You're pulling back to, to rest. And get some archer support as soon as you've recovered. Yeah, there's not much I can do there. These guys are about to go down. And there's another unit of reinforcements coming. This is where it's a really big problem. And they've got ranged assist for this. We need to take out those archers. Those archers are a huge problem. Yeah, exactly. I just missed I didn't realize she was going to heal. Like I didn't I didn't I didn't factor that into my calculation. I just assumed I'd come out of it with only taking eight damage. Ground counter is a really annoying ability. Can't dodge a fireball, though. Or a true thrust. And then ground counter this. Fire burst. Good ability. If we get our clerics deployed, which is what we're going to deploy now... We'll get them to help these guys out. So... You will do 72 damage to them. Please tell me Albin's unit will wipe these guys out. It will pretty much wipe them out and get wiped out at the same time. So just push for push push north everybody. How shall I proceed? There's also a campfire here we can use. Actually, why don't we just use the campfire? That's a great idea. Uh, you guys are moving back. You guys are about to take on the witches. All right, let's see Baron Gary's unit in combat for the first time. Everyone just stay calm. I know Baron Garia is dressed provocatively. Look at that debuff just by staring at them. Come on, Lex. 
Hey, he killed someone. Yeah, I think you're right about getting another sorcerer. Derengaria still has a P AP, by the way. Oh yeah, this squad's good. Lexus squad just got nuts. Not even surprised. Oh, she leveled up too. HP, physical attack, magic attack, accuracy, evasion, crit rate. Yeah, she's nuts. That is indeed what you get. Okay. Um, this group up here doesn't look too bad, and this squad looks like it's going to be very good against mages. So I think we're just going to keep sending them this way. You can take these guys out. Um, this unit here has recovered... But I'm worried about them resting. I want to take. I want to deal with all this up here. Very quickly, we're doing okay in terms of time so far. Good. What are these guys doing? They're going to come for a lanes unit. So let's pull back to here. Onward. Hey, I found myself some heavy pockets today. Glad those saps didn't mind me making them a little lighter. So they've they, we've lost that money. They've deployed off the map. There's nothing we can do about that. I'm going to use the um, campsite when we get close enough. I'm going to get these guys to use it. Oh, there's a unit of. Wyvern's on top of it. We might be better off getting Hodrick's unit to hit them first. At once. And then we'll get you guys. Oh, they're gonna they're about to fire off an arrow barrage. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, you just guys just follow them. You guys need to push north. Is that all? You've lost four times in a row. Damn! Those heists are not made for you. That was the other unit of thieves, I think, getting into the ruins. Uh, we're going to take some arrow damage here, and it's going to be nasty. Once we take these... Once we take these... They're going to arrow in everybody. Once we take out these um, wyvern knights, though, we can hit the campsite, heal everybody. Oh, that was big damage. Morgane's gone. Oh, the whole unit got wiped out. Mm. The enemy is quite deft. <sighs> that is a huge L. Oh, <sighs> I can't believe that just happened. They are akin to a well -honed blade. The amount of damage they just did is disgusting. Um, I'm going to have to use these to bring these guys back. Now we're still losing, but we're not losing as much. Do I have a way to heal everybody? That's me down to one item use left. That was such unbelievable damage. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. I don't know how we're going to take the north now. I really don't know how we're going to take the north. Let's see what we can do. This is why I need to take the north, because these why like... At least we got a burn on them, and that will do some burn damage in a second. Don't die! At least True Thrust always hits, although the damage is so low. Fire Burst for the kill on one of them. That's going to push them back a little bit. Okay. That knocks them back. Let's push in with Hodrick to finish them. Can you still kill the archers? No, you will die. So we're going to have to use our last item. What we'll do is we'll put you here. And we'll use we'll use the campsite. And I need to bring our clerics up too. Okay, these guys seem a little bit lost. Um, I want to rest this unit, but I'm a little bit scared... Because if I do so, I think these guys... If I attack them with the archers, can they kill them? Pretty much. Okay, we will rest Alvin's unit then. The path is set. Yeah, they're coming for us. Hey boss, we have company. More moths, the flame. Hmm? Fine then, let's show them what we do with interlopers. Interlopers! That's a callback to something nobody's going to get but me. Um, in the mountains. All right, I'm just trying to think of what else we need to do here. We need to wait on resting Elaine until we've killed these guys. So let's just push them down and kill them. We need to also need to move our archers to this watchtower. Right. 
they will have the range to support Elaine as they move. Um, we need to kill these wyverns, we need to hit the, the encampment, which will let us heal um, Albin, which will let us kill the Watchtower. That's the order of, op of operations here. I was really worried that Obin was going to bump the tower, which is exactly what happened. I've got a healing font. This is my last item use of the game. We're not going to win, but we're not going to lose. <sighs> this is fraught. Really fraught. Oh, hey, Trog. Really fraught. It's those double shots, that's what the problem is. And the true shots as well. Come on, I need a kill chain. Come on, Bangaria. That's a heavy slash, not a kill chain. Oh, they got full HP, so kill chain. Oh, kill chain will fire. Oh, she missed. Okay, I took two of them out. Now we just need to hit the uh, wyverns, take them out, and get to the camp. You shall go no further. This is uh, edgier seat stuff right now. At least Hodrick is an absolute beefcake. No hesitation. Ooh, that ground counter. Somehow survived. They're actually pretty uh, fraught. I like that, Notorious. Fraught's a good one. Nobody play overconfidence. We've got this. I can still pull this back. We've only lost one unit. Uh, the Gryphonites are dead. They lie to One victory begets another. All right, you this is but a fool's get to the campfire. You face me. I'm here too. Uh, there's no point in using the ranged assist. But damn it, we're gonna lose stamina. So we're gonna have to finish them. We're gonna have to finish them with the archer unit, so that our, um, our, um, Elaine's unit can rest. My magic is yours. Well done. You absolutely beat up that guy on two HP. Good dodge. I need to update um, Scarlet's uh, combat log because she's. If there's no armored unit, she's not attacking. Oh, look at that row heal. Beautiful. We would have killed them if she'd had proper scripting. So her scripting's not quite right. We can fix that too. That's all good to do. 77 crit. Damn. Yeah, we need to update her scripting. Also, Clive had another... I'm pretty sure Clive had another AP there. And didn't do anything with it. Uh, you... Well, it sets a prioritize armor, but it, she should be attacking other people as well. Oh no, it's quick heal that she's um, she's struggling with. Okay, you guys need to attack these guys. Um, this is all about to happen up here. You're they're about to hit this. There's a wyvern knight squad in the air. I haven't even looked at this yet. Uh, let's just keep pushing. Twice. At least this unit is baller. Although we have to worry about their stamina. At least try. That death spin's pretty cool. Lex will kill the other one in the front and get a heal. Her, de de her debuffing everyone's initiative actually works really well for us. Because they would just bombard us with magic missiles otherwise. And then she could finish off with a carnage. Are you okay? And then we get a heal. Okay. As expected of Cornian royalty. What we'll do is we'll garrison... Oh, we don't actually need to garrison the tower just yet. Let's get you guys to attack here. Um, that's all about to happen here. We're just about to get the camp heal. Camp heal? Camp heal? Camp heal? Camp heal? Where's the camp heal? Oh, okay, it's okay. We're still going to win. But I need that camp heal. 
Exactly, Trog. I need a kill chain. I need a really good kill chain here. Damn. She managed to eke that out. <laughs> they are indeed absolute combat monsters. <laughs> Alright. I need you to hit this campsite. Why have you not used the campsite yet? Yes, use the campsite! Oh, thank god. <laughs> that was terrifying. I didn't even heal everybody, which is crazy. Alright, let's clear out this bloody ruins. Okay, we have another deployment point. So that means we can deploy our last unit, which is Leah's unit. Which honestly is not my strongest unit, but they need to hit the battlefield. So, they are going to. First in timing, yeah. I forgot that Oban was going to move, honestly, because he was recovering. Hello, Sorcerer. Meet my axe. I have you. No time to stand around. The axe. Ooh, quick guard. Activates before being hit by a physical attack. Block an enemy attack with a medium guard. That's Never something that Thingy's had this whole time. All right, we've got three left. Let's garrison and recover stamina. Archers will kill these guys. Archers will not kill these guys. Even with first strike. I can't believe they're gonna fail this fail to kill this guy. This is a if there if there ever was a gank, this is that gank. And we failed the gank. <laughs> That's a good point, Tiram. I will do that. Let's get them the kill. Although I didn't realize you weren't resting. Get resting. Um, let's put the clerics in the tower. What we can do is undeploy everybody as well and redeploy them rather than walking them all the way over. No hesitation. This group needs a bit more uh, offensive power. We need to get them up to size 4 and maybe add... Oh, a unit that'll increase our movement speed and do a bit of damage into them. It's basically Alk is doing all the work with Fireball, but not even Fireball, it's with the, um, the burn ability. Why are you healing him and not him? It's Fireburst that's doing all the work in this group. Thank goodness for healing assist. What is actually defending here? It is two knights. Okay, that's going to be a tough, tough cookie to crack, honestly. I don't know if Obin's unit can actually hurt them. Oh, they can, but they'll take damage. Um, we will hold until the clerics are in position. Uh, you're healing. You're about to fight them. You're going to recover. How are we doing for time? We've used a little bit of our time. Maybe add Dennis to Hodrick's squad. That's a good shout, TRM. Are we going to win this? Yeah, we're going to win this. I'll just, I'll just skip the battle. They dead, right? They dead? Did they not die? Keep getting sharper. That's the level up for Rolf, which is good. He's at level eleven. Okay, they did die. Good. And that's another point. So we can start using we can start using some of our special abilities. What have you guys got? Uh, Vitalize summon warriors. Let's summon some warriors to attack this position. That looks like a pretty good unit, actually. I don't know if they're going to be able to fight the Griffinites, but they should be able to soften them up at very at the very least. Uh, you're healing, you're doing your... Okay, everyone's doing their own things over here. Oh, where did you come from? That's not good. Heading there now. That's really bad. I stand ready. You need to get here ASAP. Um, I'm ready. You could also maybe take the hit for them. You could get into Go one fight. Cards. Is there no cost? To, uh, no, there's no cost to undeploy, then instantly redeploy. Too I also have the ability to teleport. Yeah, Rolf Squad. If Rolf Squad gets into a tower, they don't need to rest. If you're in a watchtower, you don't expand stamina. I'm just going to skip this fight. Okay, that's those Griffin Knights dealt with. Nice. Hodrick got, Hodrick's actually quite a low level. But Hodrick got a level up. Um, 
Let's make sure Albin is moving in now. Albin's still not not quite ready for Albin to hit them. If Hodrick heads in, Hodrick's also not going to do very much damage, which is not ideal. Let's just get everyone in position. Uh, we need to deal with this situation here. How are you guys looking up here? So you should be... No stamina consumption, wait time. So they're not actually going to recover stamina being in here. But I don't think anyone is attacking them because it looks like everything that's happening here is attacking these guys. So I think we're just going to rest them. They get a faster rest speed when garrisoned. Um, these guys look like they're heading over this way, which is concerning. Uh, how much damage will you do to them? Uh, not enough. I'm ready. And you guys will take a ton of damage from them as well. I need a lane unit on 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 the board, really. The problem is, is if I take out this garrison, all of these units are going to collapse on me. And they're coming from over here. And then we've got this to deal with as well. There's also this unit just over here, too. There's so much going on in this fight. I've got so many units tied up with this stupid fight up here. But I don't want these units behind me. And I, don't, I honestly don't know if I can kill these units with what I've got up here. I'm very concerned about that. Okay, we've got them in place. These guys are taking a little bit of damage. So they're going to heal if we attack them. They're going to take a little bit of damage. We've got healing assist, though. Hey, Clockwork, good to see you. Thanks for joining the stream. And how are you four sexy, which is indeed Lightning Dragon? Uh, I think we're going to hit them just to stop them from healing, and we'll use the healing support from the clerics to just tip, tip us over the edge there. This is GG. That is actually GG, and I can't get back in time. I've lost. The path is I can't get back Where should I begin? in time of course. to prevent them right. unless I get a Valor Point and I can teleport. Because I've got no item uses left. Yeah. So, um, Albin doesn't have the ability to rest faster in a watchtower. That's an ability that Berengaria gives this squad. We've lost, though. We, we can't win. If this unit of Wyverns makes it to here, it's game over. And they're going to beat us to it because they can fly and we can't. The only way I can do it is if I somehow manage to wipe a unit out in the before they get there. And the only way to do that is to use Berengaria's unit to attack these guys. But I can't do that because Berengaria's unit is recovering. So we've lost this fight. There's like there's literally nothing I can do. I can't. You can only undeploy at a at a town that you've taken. So the plan was to take this town and undeploy up here, but now I can't do that. I don't mean to alarm you, Highness, but a current command post on the verge of being captured. Either use this conveyance stone. I can't because I don't have any uses yet. The the, the game's like. You don't want to lose your command post, and it's given me a conveyance stone, but it hasn't given me any additional item uses, right? No. So the only the only thing I've got left is um, I can teleport. I need two. I need two points to teleport. So the only other option actually is if we actually manage to take this position, uh, which we're not going to do either. Like, there's no chance at all that that's going to happen. <laughs> it's one of those weird ones where if I use healing assist, we take more damage. No, no, Trog. I'm really happy with questions because it actually helps me process what's happening and it lets me think through strategies. But we, this is a big L. This is a big L. We actually need more flying units to take this fight on. We need to build an army specifically for this mission. My hope here is that if we can kill one of these Griffin Knights, Obin's unit might be able to do the work. There's a small, there's like a little tiny um, lane where we win this, like a really small one, but I don't see it happening, honestly. That level one burn is very important, but he can't die here. If she clears the burn, ah, oh, damn, she cured the burn. If she hadn't cured the burn, we had a chance, but because she cured the burn, 
her healing is actually a disaster. You'll be okay. Her healing is actually a disaster. Oh, do we still get the fire burst? Okay. But it doesn't kill him. Wait, I thought... Okay. A victory for the liberation. Basically, Albin needs to wipe them out here, and he's not going to. Crap. We used way too many items at the start. Ah, it's automatically applying healing assist because they're not. That makes sense. We're, the timing here is so close. It is so close. Yeah, it's very embarrassing. Good hit. Good dodge. He has four PP, by the way, at the moment. Great heavy slash. She'll come in with a, another heavy slash. Kill chain. Not enough to kill her, unfortunately. I can help. She look at look at the health throw now. It's not even. A, it's a side mission. It's not even a main story mission. Nice try. I feel like I need a slot. I need. I need more units ready for this battle. Like another two actual units. Wait, please, I surrender? Oh yeah, could have sworn you put up more of a fight than that. We would if you weren't here. Listen, Albin, something's wrong with Magellan. Not sure what it is, but if anyone could put a stop to it, it's you. We may have a chance. We may have a chance. I'll ask our friends up north to lend a hand myself. As for the bandits down south, well, that's on you. So what do you say, we have a deal? If it means not having blades at each other's throat, I'm all for it. Come on, Elaine. But of course, what would you have us do, Fair Rider? Only one thing, keep me safe while flying over there. Can't exactly have my chat if I'm burnt to a crisp. Alright. If we can oh, damn it, I If we hadn't been knocked back, we just need to get someone in the ruins, right? If we get someone in the ruins, we can teleport. But I can't get to the ruins in time. How shall I proceed? Forward. Did you need me? We didn't even get a valor point there. No, it, it, w it should have been clutch, but we got knocked back. It should have been clutch. It should have been clutch. Look how close we are. This is how close we are to, to say, salvaging this fight. This is how close we are. And that's GG. Gross, disgusting, I hate it. So... I could use a hallowed corn ash, and then we won't lose the um, the progress we've made so far. Do we think we can win the mission from here? Do the named characters ever die in battles? They can. We've lost we've lost a bunch of named characters already this game, Notorious. I think I'm going to use the ash, and we're going to try and win this battle. <laughs> that hasn't really helped us very much, has it? <laughs> uh, Roblox Oof would be a good one, yeah. There's a great video essay about that sound file, by the way. About that. Okay. Stealing our gold, are you? It's our gold. Well, I guess nobody's got it easy these days. Let's just call it a little thank you for sparing my life. Okay. No, no pause the game. Okay. Uh, why can't I undeploy you? Why, why can't I? This isn't a town. It's not a town. I can't undeploy them. I just wasted the corn ash for nothing. Wait, 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 I've got a deployment point. Oh my god, Shh, tell me there's something I can do. We march. This this move is actually nuts. It's actually overpowered. Yeah, H bomber guys. I've just reduced their movement speed by 90%. Surely we can catch them. <laughs> this game, man. Okay. Albin, you need to get rolling over to here. So do you, Hodrick. So do you. Um, you guys, I want in this tower. 
It's down to whether or not this gravity field is powerful enough. What happened? Something happened there. Okay, nothing serious. They won't escape. Um, this is a disaster. <laughs> I'm really scared about all this. I think we need to. I think we need to just wade into it. Got it. What is the command for seeing the sound files we can play? Um, exclamation mark sounds with an S at the end. Okay, you are also in trouble. So let's get you back to here. Oh no, don't do that. It's actually go this way. Are they gonna make it? Why are you saving the game? Come on. My speed might just see me through. Defeat will soon be upon us. Why can't we hurt them? <laughs> A rash decision. Yet I'll fight all the same. This will do 25 damage to them, and hopefully Elaine can finish them off afterwards. I fear for our safety. This fight may prove a difficult one. That's a good opener. And a good follow-up. That's gonna miss. Yeah. And they're anti cavalry. Can Elaine make it? I don't know if I've got time, they're so close. believe we've just lost that that's gross that's actually gross right after clockwork said we believe in the clutch as well uh, that's so disgusting um i don't even know restart the stage from an auto save i don't know if it's savable from there i think i need to come back here with a bigger army oh i can't believe that just happened oh go away go away leave me alone run away Okay, <laughs> I need a two second break. The puppy wants to go out to the toilet. So I'm gonna let her out and I will be right back. Oh, chat is not showing. Why is chat not showing? Oh, the chat's showing. Um, oh, T-Rev, <laughs> you're the best. It was all in vain, but it wasn't great. <laughs> Thank you everybody. I will be right back, T-Rev, you're a legend. And I'm just gonna get um, a glass of water and let the dog out. I'll be two seconds. It wasn't all in vain, but uh, it wasn't great. The You Died sound file is from GTA 4, I think. It's a sound file from that. Okay. Uh, let me just get my chat back on screen. 
Right. Okay, so we're not we're not going that way just now. Um, I think to get through that mission, we need like a, a special aerial attack group that can just come s screaming in to take them out. So I think we're gonna have a look at what's going on in the east. Let's have a look at what's going on with the black market uh, trader, shall we? Over this way. Excuse me, friend. Is there anything hidden up here? Yeah, there is. I've scoured the ruins, your majesty, and found an urn of hallowed corn ash. Okay, well, we've at least we got the hallowed corn ash back. This is a great guard. Past this point lies the walled city of Adopti. It appears to be under Zenorian control as well. How did you manage to pass through here on your way to the checkpoint? They hardly have any guards stationed in the area, so it's simple enough matter for a small force such as ours. But I'm sure they'll notice an entire army. Excuse me, I'm hiccuping, shaking the gates. Walled city of Adopti. It looks like there's a way to go around to the north. Well, look at this guy. The Liberation Army is gearing up to kick down our door. I already heard the news, thanks. Oh, thanks, Tyrion. Slower than a snake in winter, kid. Have to bite, too. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> Poor Darver. So, what's the call, boss? Well, ain't that the question of the hour. See, us mercs gotta have a knack for picking a side that's gonna come out on top. Only way I ended up a knight was by knowing just when to go searching for a new client. You do not look like a knight. <sighs> it's got me thinking. Is Zenoira really how we hit it big? Yeah, only one way to find out. Round up the best sword arms in the gang and do it quick. Rumors have any kick to them, and these liberation folk won't be the kind of backstabbing rats we're used to. Time to see what they're working with. Three poison mercenaries. It seems they've already noticed us, in fact. The city is ruled by a famed mercenary who rose to prominence during the fight between Drakenhold and Zenoria. Make sure you're ready before you march in there unprepared. Is this another one I'm not going to be able to do? <laughs> Alright, let's give it a try. I just to save. Uh, no, we don't just save, we just jump in. This is like going to be quite a small fight. What are you waiting for? Get moving. This is a lot of enemies. Whoa, Swordbearer, Axe Bearer, okay. There's a lot of enemies. There's only one control point, but there is a tower. So we want to maybe fly and hit that tower. Okay, let's have a look here. Very small battlefield. We've got a lot of enemies. We want to set a blocking point up here. Smash our way through all these loose enemies. We need to take out this archer tower. And we're going to have to do that with a flying unit. So I think we're going to deploy... Baron Gary's units to here. Good choice. We'll support them with. We're also going to deploy more Gaines unit to here. Where's my prey? And then we'll support Baron Gary's unit, I think, with our healers. Yeah, she's she's woofing, woofing away. The holy unicorn. She's just woken up and she wants to come and suckle me, but there's nowhere for her to sit in here at the moment, and the cat litter's in here, so she'll just be a baddie if I let her in. So I want you to come around here, here, and then smash these. Oh god, the damage you're going to take is huge. We need to make, find a way to make this unit better against archers. Because um, they are great anti-archer support, but they get wrecked by archers. You know Alright, let's see what, see what we can do. These guys need to hold here, because if we move forward, we're in archer range. Tough units. These guys are high level. Want to keep going? Two sorceresses. That's a nasty group. No, yeah, they're not taking a lot of damage. What level are these guys? Oh, puppy. That gets your PP when she does that. We haven't actually seen her attack in ages. Ooh, focus side. Guaranteed hit on magic missile. That's nasty. Yeah. That's new. I haven't seen that before. So these guys are higher level. Oh Ouch. Huh? Are you okay? Oh, great. 
Okay, we did some good damage there. We took some damage there. Berengaria leveled up again. Level 11. Ooh, HP. She gets great level ups. Look at that. Two seconds. I'm just going to put the Togi back to bed. I'll be right back. We've had Magic Missile for a while. Uh, I do need the Angels unit, at least. See, that's right. Um, these high levels, whatever these guys are, crikey. Yeah. So what level are they? Level 50. <laughs> We're so outmatched. Oh my god. This is a, this is going to be another another disaster. Ugh. If they can't crease on you, I'm, I'm calling foul. What? They're life aiding these guys? I can't afford to push either. We're just going to have to hold here and take these guys out piecemeal. That's all I can afford to do right now. At least Baron Gary's unit is nuts powerful. I could also just read as I can garrison the um, the, cler the clerics. All right, uh, got a healing assist. Damage is going to be good on this one. At least try. Look at this three griff, three wyvern knights, protected by one. Oh, nice javelin throw. Nice, Lex. Protect your girlfriend. No damage. So who thinks? Who still thinks Lex is terrible? This guy has so much defense. Well done. That's this is nasty. We're gonna take some. We're gonna take some damage here. Oh God! Attack Berengaria, please. Okay, he's finally down. Big crit heals. No There's a huge spike in difficulty. We need to go north. Okay, two units there are injured. I really don't know. We're going to have to use something to buff these guys' damage before they go in on these ones. Um, what do I actually have available? I think I have... I have an empowering draft, which increases damage increase by 30%. That's probably our best... Our best... Um, I'm just looking at what else we've got. We could actually put down a mantlet here, uh, which will help with Berengaria's defense. Well. How many units? We've got, oh, we got tons. Yeah, let's drop a mantlet on them. Oh, I have to put it in front of them? That's no use. I don't want to do that. Um, and if I put them back here, they will get steady stamina recovery. Yes, garrison. The life aid is not the end of the world, actually. It's fine, because they're just coming in with one hit point. Order's complete. We've got another unit coming in. You won't make this mistake twice. Well, at least we're gonna get these ones. At least this unit is baller. Like, at least this unit is playing with fire here. Lay down. Not looking great. Not finished yet. Not bad. Okay, we're doing some good damage. Oh, another Despin. Beautiful. And a crit on the last guy. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage. Healing. She's not attacking. At TRM, as soon as I've got the deployment points to do it, I will get the archers out. Right, why is Chloe not attacking? We need to check Chloe's scripting. You know what I'm really scared of right now? We're going to run low on stamina. Um... What's Chloe scripting saying? Oh, she's only using... Right, she's only using Sanguine Attack if her own HP is less than 75%. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, remove that and then I'm gonna set this below Long Thrust so that if she doesn't fulfill the requirements for Long Thrust, she will still Sanguine Attack because otherwise she hasn't gotten attack. The Berengaria Rampage is indeed real. Let me just quickly check the dog has not gotten into my bed, which is what she likes to do when it's cold in the morning.
No, she's just boofing about, which is fine. Okay. Um, so her scripting is fixed. We're going to run out of stamina, but we have a stake. Uh, these guys are going to come in. When they get to about here, we're going to give them the plus 30% damage thing. As soon as we've killed these archers, which is there's only two of them, we can start pushing. But until we, until, while these archers are still here, we cannot afford to move forward. There is an item that we can use that will prevent us from taking damage, but I don't think we have any of them. Um, I don't think we have it. Yeah, I don't think we have one. But there is an item that does that. Okay. Let's just unpause and let, keep, let this keep going. We're going to start killing units here, which will get us more deployment points. That's a kill for Berengaria's unit. At least try. There you go. There's the long thrust. Nice. Critical 35. <laughs> I've never seen a wounded um, sorceress before. <laughs> That's really pathetic. Virginia can use it as a skill. Uh, do I even have Virginia unlocked? Oh yeah, I do have Virginia unlocked. There she's there. I don't think I'm going to get the spare of Valor for it right now. Because we're still trying to get just one Valor point to deploy a second unit. Toughness. The gate stamina at the end of battle. Knock back an enemy unit after battle. Okay, that's fine. Remind me to use a stake after this fight. Very important that I use a stake after this fight. Wanna keep going? That initiative down, attack down is huge. It's massive. It's actually more than like the damage she's doing. She's so good. She's a game changer. Spreading the damage out a little bit too much here. We got one of them. Guaranteed crit. Ow. These guys are quite well put together. We could probably put Virginia in the front row, actually. She's she's armored enough that she doesn't need to be a back rower. I think I'm gonna move Virginia to the front row. Stake them first, stake them all. Okay, we got knocked back there. That's actually not a problem. So I'm going to come into this unit here. I'm going to move Virginia. Uh, how can I move her? Reposition. Put her in the front row here. And then I'm going to use a grilled steak. You get their stamina back. Puppy. Someday Lex will be good. So Lex has been good today. He's, he, he, did a, he did a no damage. He did a full defense and took no damage. I'm here. Well, we're actually running out of time as well. I just noticed the time limit. Uh, that's fine. Do this. I don't know why the puppy's being so fussy this morning. I think it's because it's cold. Another one of these units. Oh, no, it's this unit again. Oh, she missed with the javelin. That's a shame. And zero damage and evasion up. Do they get increased evasion whenever they dodge an attack? Or whenever they get hit by an attack? Come on, Virginia. Thank you for 55 crit. She's an anti-air unit. We gotta remember that. Good guard. Nope. I'm hoping that Lex's promotion is good. I bet you it's not. See, no damage. Look at him protecting his sister. Good work, team. Level up for Lex. Come on, big level up. Quick guard. Okay, here, hold on, I'll knock that in the other fight. Okay, we are halfway through our time limit. We've almost killed most of these units. We're about to hit these guys. Um, we'll wait till we're actually there before we use the ability. I get less hyper. Well, yeah, well, she's she's a funny bunny. You won't make this mistake okay, that's another unit wiped out. That's going to get us a deployment point. We're going to bring in um, a lanes unit, I think, and we're just going to start churning through these guys because we need to make we need to make ground. Good dodge. Did dodge that though. Not even worth my time. Chloe level up, Chloe level up. In service of the crown. Plus one percent crit rate. Never 
That's a deployment point. Right, we just need this fight here. So at the moment, we're basically killing one of them, I think. They've got... We're not even killing one of them. So it's all about... Um, we're going to take an empowering draft, which increases damage by 30%. I'm trying to see if there's anything else we could give them to give them an edge here. Doubles XP and gold. Does not affect the enemies in towns. Um, yeah, there's not really anything else I can do here to boost them apart from using the empowering draft. So that is what we will do. Um, let's deploy... I'm going to deploy a lanes unit just to come to the front line and help out. And we're going to push forward as soon as possible. Out of my way. That's an easy... Wow. Just an absolute wipe for Baron Gary's unit. Let's have some fun. She is nuts. She's just like a one-man army. So oh, so I, 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 call, I said that she was... Um, Lex's sister, meaning Albin, who's not not Albin, um, Tristan, who's not in this squad. Beautiful. Might have to have that wiring group use healing card. Yeah, I probably will. We'll see what the um, battle preview looks like before I go in, though. Alright, let's get a lanes unit to, to smash these guys who are recovering. Oh, we're gonna take a little bit of damage, but we should be fine. Um, I just need this wyvern unit to get in there. I can't believe they're not going to get a kill. But let's do some damage. Exactly, TRM. That's what my plan is. I'm glad we're on the same page. I'm here to help. Elaine's unit is suddenly really falling behind compared to Baron Gary's unit. I'm not going to lie. Go on, then. A Solding Lance should be good here, though. Nice. That's a PP AP back for him. And she's finally holding landing somebody. Magic Missile. I don't like this guaranteed critical stuff. Let me. That's a good combo. Yeah. It might indeed be the difference. Why did he not attack again? I need to check his scripting. Something's wrong with his scripting. Because he should have attacked again there. Ah, so he's only using Assaulting Lands if the target is less than 50% health. So what I want to do is remove that. I want to change Assaulting Lance and Wild Rush around. So he'll use Assaulting Lance if there's not a full column. Easy. Okay, they're, they're about to go in. So right now, they're getting wrecked. Let's take the Empowering Draft. Now they're almost killing them. So if we take a Holy Herb, that will heal them after the fight. And hopefully, that will be enough to get us the kill. No quarter. Damn, one hit kill. Oh my god. <laughs> That was disgusting. But we can definitely take them out. Yeah, they're going to go straight back in and kill them. I don't think we need to bother recovering the people. Come then. Why are you doing so little damage? Oh, it's because it's this group. You won't make this mistake twice. Let's send the good team in. With their anti-air soldier. I think we're going to win this. The only thing I'm worried about is stamina. It was a win, Dictator had. It's fine. <laughs> that was crazy damage. Hey, Don Vincenzo, how's it going? Oh, I should do it. I should do it last. Oh, I can't remember. T-Rem just got first. We're watching Baron Gary just destroy every single unit that comes at us right now, Don Vincenzo. No time to stand around. Tells you how quiet the stream's been today. <laughs> Wait, they just get knocked onto my squad. What does that mean? It's an instant fight. Okay. 
I think we're just going to skip the, the fight for that one. Not even surprised. It's a level up, another level up for Baron Carrier. That's what you get. And look, they got two, so they are getting XP back here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put them back here and we're going to recover them. These guys are going to come forward to attack them once these guys have wiped these guys out. It'll be over in a sec. Good luck to Tater Hat. With all that I am. Good luck, Don Vincenzo. Tully. Yeah. The puppy was doing something bad. Yeah, it's very good. Drinks are on me. Well done, Mordon. Okay, that's the archers dealt with, finally. Uh, you guys need to go home and undeploy now. Okay. Now we can start the attack. Let's deploy. Um, I'm thinking we're going to deploy our archers first. And then we're going to bring in another combat unit. Alright, you guys can rest. Oh, my alarm has gone off. You guys come in, wipe these guys out. You guys get to about here. And right. uh, we need our clerics to come forward as well. Is that all? We don't have a lot of time here. We have to move fast. Here. We've had a few scripting issues which we fixed as well. Oh, so these guys are massively overleveled for us. The enemies we're fighting are way over our level. Yep, t Rem. He's already done it once this morning. It's a level up for Yana. Okay, that's another deployment point. So let's bring in Albin's unit. Because even though there's only three of them, they're still very strong. Oh wait, hang on. We need to make sure Elaine's unit is moving forward or we're in big trouble. Let's get these guys some experience. Oh, they got you, TRM. It was a double cross. How much did you lose? Uh, only a hundred. You could have put some more money into it. So I've given Tristan a new dagger that lets him steal AP rather than PP. You know what? She doesn't look as impressive now that we have Berengaria, does she? Poor Berenice. Alright. Let's just let's just push to the end now. Onward. Do you need something? Understood. Did you need me? I advance. Time is no friend to us now. Here we go. You're done for. You're done for. I'll support you. <laughs> About time you showed up. I've been ready to hit something all day. Alright, Jeremy. What a name. Thanks. Good dodge. Nice crush. Good dodge. We've got a kill chain being set up here. He's got so much PP he can dodge for days. Keep dodging. Look at that. He hasn't even had to spend any of his AP. Kill chain. One. We're probably going to get the second one here. Yeah, sorry if there's any Jeremy's in chat. <laughs> I just thought it was a weird name for a fantasy mercenary. This is a pretty tough thing, but this is a really good counter for it. Oh my god, the puppy is really unhappy this morning. What should I do now? Let's see how Lane's unit's going. Eh, taking a bit of damage. 
Healing assist does literally nothing, which means that someone's getting wiped out. I think the lane shoot needs more more power. I don't think they've got enough combat power anymore. I only let the puppy out after this fight. Go on, then. Good damage. Good dodge. I like that. I don't like them bulking up. That sucks. My magic to be fair, that's, that's, you're totally right, uh, Don. Uh, cool, we actually got the assault chain there. Wolf indeed. Yeah, she needs to go outside. <laughs> What's his name, Elaine? Uh, Elaine, this keeps getting healed. I wonder if it's not taking account the in-game healing. How not to impress Riches 101. Oh, this is the, might be the end of Elaine. Oh, he's on three health. Sleepy Pupper has always been Marky Pupper. That's the problem. Oh, he's got a kill chain. Ah, so he's the male version of Berenice. Good dodge. Oh my god, that dodge. Albin squad should have the win here. Yeah, that's the win. Thank you for all of your PP. Now you can't heal yourself and you're dead anyway. Good evade. Now here's how you swing a sword. Let me show you again how you swing a sword. Oh, he guarded it. But we've got... Escape Slash. Her name is Rudy Berenice, yes. And doesn't help, we've also got Berengaria. No, they've said it. They've said it in-game. I've heard a character say it. It's Berenice. Two level ups. Nice. Really, Don? <laughs> Why is that amazing? Oh, we got the Bandit Longsword. Usage unit, unit earns plus 100% gold. Hmm. Mission complete. Took us 43 minutes, that one. I didn't think it was going to take that long, because that, that looked like the, we need to get out of here and level up. Everyone here is level 15. Uh, we're just getting smashed in both directions. We also need a lot more honors. I want to get our squads up to level four, like to have four men in them. Damn. Not my best gamble. Fetch me the axe, Elaine. Whoa. Whoa, hold on there, lady. At least let a guy beg for his neck, will ya? Lots of French names, yeah. Maybe he's Jeremy. A little test, that's all. No bad blood, I swear. <laughs> and what about the blood of your men? Do you feel nothing for those you've lost? Doesn't matter what I feel. Tears won't bring him back. Oof. But listen, I'm all in on this liberation of yours. I'll have my gang clear the city. Cut ties with the Emperor, too, while we're at it. The only boss I'm willing to die for is you, Chief. Yes, let's all believe the mercenaries. Say anything to save his own <laughs> skin. I'll leave his judgment to you, Elaine. Virginia does go hard. Um, all right. Why don't we uh, let let you let YouTube decide? No, I'm I'm playing I'm playing spare him. We are sparing him. You're welcome amongst us, provided you swear to never treat our lives the same callous way you did your own. Sounds like my read on you was right then. You got a kind soul under all that armor and formality. I do indeed. Anyway, might be a hard sell with the way things turned out, but. I know my way around a sword better than mine. Okay, exactly. <laughs> this bet'll come good, trust me. <laughs> oh, Virginia does not approve. Virginia will remember that. <laughs> yes, I will save my progress. Finally made some progress in this uh, play, th this, this stream, because that first battle was a disaster. Four more honors. Another eight honors. Glad to be coming aboard. Alright, what's available here? We can upgrade this place, which we'll do. I 
Which means I can station the guard here. You're an old drunk out, will ya? The tavern's back open. I couldn't be happier. Never thought I'd see my drinking buddies again. Okay. I've got some renown for reopening the pub. Make use of the features of a fort. Oh, that means we can hire people. Okay. So what are they selling here? Wyvern Reigns. Makes the user's next move attack a true strike. Grants user plus 20 attack if the user's at 100% HP. That's pretty cool. That's a Carnelian Pendant. That gives plus 1 AP. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, oh, yeah. Mission success. TRM. Finally got a win. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lapis gives plus PP. This is a. Uh, we we're just going to buy this. Um, mission plus 10. We've got a bunch of iron weapons. Black iron. These have crit rate plus 5. Bronze. Mercy Eye Patch. Critical rate plus 20%. War Cry. Powerful Call. Inspiration. Oh, I didn't like that because it gave us minus fire cure. Oh, this is a really good town for picking up stuff. There's a lot of things on sale here. What has the um, region got? Thank you so much, by the way, TRM. That's a party of a nutty combo I set up later. Okay, interesting. Healing. There's nothing new here. Defensive draft would be useful to pick up. Empowering draft would be useful to pick up. Let's grab all of these. Um, that's all I really want from here right now. I am indeed a few coins short. Let's get two of them then. Because I bought the thing. Alright. That is where I think I'm going to leave this stream. Because I've already suffered one massive defeat. The puppy is going crazy. And um, it's getting very late with everybody else. It's a little bit early. But let's just ease back into it I think. Um, or do we want to do one more mission? I think we maybe do one more mission. I'm just going to check on the puppy first, and then I'll come back and we'll do one more mission, because it's still a little bit early. Bear with me while I just check that she's okay, and I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee, and I'll, we'll be right back and we'll do another mission. It's, it's a lot earlier than I thought. We've still got tons of time. Be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Oh, thank you so much, Shinobu, for supporting me on Ko-Fi. That, that's really nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> what a nice thing to come back to. Um, I'm not sure about Homeworld 3 Trog, honestly. I'm cautiously optimistic, as t says. says. Um, I hope it's got a big improvement, but the amount of messing around that's going on with... Um, Oh, that's the wrong, the wrong scene. With um, the, the owner of the license and everything, I'm just a little bit consume, consumed. Thank you so much, um, Shinobu. Also, hey, Miss Saps, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Um, I haven't seen the rest of the yet at all. Um, I've never heard of the simple coffee piston referred to as a French press. It's always, I've all, never heard of it heard of it referred to as a coffee piston before, Miss Saps. Um, right, we're heading north uh, because we need to level up some of our weaker units. That was scary. Also, do we have enough to expand a unit yet? No. So that's our next objective is we're going to get 50 honor to expand one of our units. I just need to check in to make sure I've actually unmuted the microphone. Um, you've missed Berengaria killing everything so far. Like literally everything. She's just murdered everything. Is there a mission up here? There's some stuff by the beach. Excuse me, I'm just fishing. There is a mission. <laughs> Better behave now. Coming to take the harbor, huh? Well, too bad. I'm going to burn it to the ground. What? It's a bit extreme, my friend. Excuse me, I'm just I'm just fishing and uh, gathering resources. Let's grab all this stuff. Okay, let's go and do this mission. This should be a much easier one to get completed. We can level up some of our weaker units. Liberation Army says to def defeat Edvald and free Fontil Harbor from a Zenorian rule. I did take a big L. It was, you actually missed a very tense moment. It was incredibly tense. Like, let's let's give that, give it the, um, just finish. Those guys have crossbows. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. These guys have crossbows. Zenorian Arbalists. Can provide range assist for allies. Toxic Bolt, Power Bolt, and they can heal. So they're archers that do status effects and can heal. All right, well, we've got a job for our flying unit. If they can get there, what's their range? The range is massive. So we're going to have to do something very similar to what we did la in the last fight. Um, Morgane's unit's going to have to do a lot of work here, but the problem is they're going to have to thread the needle because they're going to have to thread... Well, I know what we'll do. First of all, can they kill these guys? Eh, we're going to have to use another one of those items. What we'll do is we'll use a Concealing Cloak. Well, Berengaria wasn't losing. <laughs> Everyone else was losing, was the problem. Um, and let's try and level up. Hodrick's unit needs some XP. So we're going to bring Hodrick's unit into this fight. Um, we're also going to deploy... I've got one deployment point left, so we're going to deploy Sharon's unit to heal him. Um... What's the range on this? Okay, Hodrick is actually in their range. Let's just move Hodrick, like, to about... Oh, I think we should leave him there. He can heal himself. If I had to pick a non-Gundar medieval weapon to use as an AA weapon, it likely would be an Arbalest. We lost and we took another mission and Berengaria held the line. She did indeed hold the line. It's got to be the flying... Oh, they've... Look, look, they've got... Sugar... I didn't see the... Didn't see the hidden wizards. <laughs> 49 damage. We're going to lose a unit here. Unless, let's grab a defensive draft. And let's grab an empowering draft. And let's see how that looks now. Okay, that's much better. I want to level this unit up. Wow, 26 damage. Pocket Ballista, yeah. Well, there's two Sexy Witches dead. Three Sexy Witches dead. But one Sexy Witch survives. To cast Magic Missile. Okay, we didn't actually get that much XP, but then again, we didn't kill them. Um, okay, we're going to have to rethink this. I think we're going to have to undeploy this unit. Um, I think we get them to kill the wizards 
and then we undeploy them because we're gonna have to send somebody else in here to take out these archers. I think we might actually just march in I shall be your shield. to here. God, the damage is insane. I'm just worried about the time limit. Oh, they're going after our flyers, okay. We've got the healing assist. We'll take them out. It's the lack of deployment points that make these fights really hard. Okay, we lost one of our flyers. At least she's dead. We're gonna have to send a ground unit in against the archers, I think. Didn't even get a level up. All right, you guys need to run this way. Hodric, hang on. Your orders, my liege. Uh, can Hodric do it? No, Hodric can't do it. Let's just get Hodric to hold here. What are we doing? If we lead you out of there, we're not going to be able to lead them. This watchtower is a problem. And the time limit is also a problem. I'm going to undeploy Sharon's unit. I'm withdrawing for now. And I'm going to deploy... I think Albin might be the right choice here. Let me just check something. I got you. Not a, they're not going to take it yet. We'll deploy Albin's unit through the forest. You got it. Made it. I am here. And then we'll get... Lots of things are happening. We'll get this unit to undeploy here. On it. Now, what's going to happen when these guys encounter these guys? The damage is pretty high. What about these guys against these guys? They're going to wipe them out. Um... The blunderbuss we deal for anti, but I don't think there's any gunpowder in this game. Yeah, I don't think there is any gunpowder. This chat does not support hitting sexy witches with hammers. <laughs> no, I don't. I agree with you. What do we want to do about this? I think we just. I don't really want Albin's unit to take this much damage. I really want Hodrick's unit to get some experience here. Yep. What if I get them to take a draft? Let's see. It's it's really close. 45 damage means we're probably losing a back liner. If I take a defensive draft... I know I'm using a lot of items here, but the items are just money, right? The problem with the Arbalast is that I think they're going to wipe out the Griffins now. And I'm going to take an Empowering Draft as well to get the kill. That's not going to wipe them out, unfortunately. That was a waste. Okay. We'll still do the attack. Yeah, that's the one of the original plan. It's just there's too many enemies nearby. Good defending. Look at the amount of damage he took. Big hit here. I need a big hit. Nice. Okay, and then we'll get a big burn attack. We're all going to do parting blow here. Yeah, it's you're you're right, mishaps. I am being a bit too cautious. Okay, this unit needs to finish this unit off to secure the XP. Um, at the moment, the problem with this unit is we've lost one of the raiders. So they're actually going to do no damage to them at all. And that's what I was worried about. So we're going to pull them out. We're going to get Albin's unit in to take the kill. Oh no, that's okay. Toughness, they get stamina us, okay. We're going to have to get Albin's unit to attack these guys. You got it. You're done for. Apparently the range support's not going to do any damage. Good missing. Setting up the killing chain. Arbalasters or Arbalists? Hmm. I think Arbalist is the correct one, I think. He's such a good tank. Here comes the kill chain. One. Two. Not quite a kill. And then we've got the parting blow. Just a script to hit that weakest enemy, actually. Nice 
Okay, you're gonna have to finish these guys off. I've had to put these guys in defense because uh, we need to we need to support the back line. Yeah, Tiro, I know I know where you're coming from. I know where you're coming from. I know what your concern is. We're on top of it. We're okay. We'll get another deployment point for killing this unit. And that'll make all the difference. <laughs> That's one way to put it, Don Vincenzo. Big hit. He actually hit there, even though we evaded. And here comes the kill chain. She's still very good. Okay, that's a level up for Alvin. This squad is doesn't need more level ups right now. Okay, that's the squad deployment point. I would really like to deploy Lee's unit, but I don't know if they're going to be able to really do it here. But they need the experience, so I'm going to bring them in. I march for the I stand ready. I need Alvin's unit to take out the Watchtower team. You got it. I need Hodrick's unit. I don't think Hodrick's unit can do anything to these guys, no, but they can kill the guys in the forest here. It doesn't look like the Arbalists can... The Arbalists can't do support fire when you're in the forest. That's right. They can't support fire in the forest. Yeah, exactly. Characters with a B name in this game are nuts. Okay, that's an important level up for Hodrick's unit. Although, what the hell, Orc? I can't praise you when you only level up evasion. I mean, at least you got crit rate up, I guess. My shield shall never break. I shall be your shield. Okay, there's not a lot you can do here. You can you can do a little bit of damage to them. These guys look like they're coming for you, though. I think we need Leah's unit to just weigh in. Oh, they'll they'll wreck them. Okay, let's go. That's probably trying to get level up. So units that need the level ups are just weaker ones. Yeah, I see what you're getting at. No running. You're not fit to be find no here. I want this squad to get some kills. Wow, 48 crit. And she got the kill, nice. Big hit. He's gonna heal though. Nice, we're actually gonna get a kill chain here. Not like a huge one, but we'll get a second attack. Okay, they'll get the kill here, which will level them up. So Albin's unit attack these guys. Hodrick head to here, and then she's gonna head over there, and then my Griffins are gonna finally get out of here. They're gonna get shot by arrows here, but I think they'll be okay. Yeah, they'll be fine. Good hit, and that's them down. And that's a level up for Adele, which is good. Physical attack, <laughs> but no, you're not better than Clive. Clive's a lot better than you. Okay, what damage can they do? It's going to be a big hit, but I think between the two of them, they'll be able to wipe the Arbalists out. We'll just send the lane unit in first. Alba's unit in first. Oh, Alba's unit will just wipe them out. Mm. Do I want Leah's unit? No, Leah's unit won't get the kill anyway, so we'll just, we'll just finish them with this unit. Are we levels of pure random with a weighted? Yes, the levels are weighted towards their specializations, but they are pure random. When you design your own units, also oh, how cool they've got winding arbalists. They're they're wi they're wind ups. Oh, shot! These guys don't have guaranteed hit, which the archers do have. Um, you can actually choose what the weighting is when you design your own units when you hire them. I'm assuming that the named characters have better weightings though, because otherwise, why would you use them? Oh my god, she just guarded that. Oh, but Parting Blow. Such a great ability. Whew. Okay, that is that lot taken care of. Now we need to deal with this lot. So we've got this. I'm going to call in our archers. And then I really want one of these units to get this kill. They're not going to take any damage. We kind of, we probably need to soften them up a little bit. Alba unit can do the softening. Hodrick's unit can do a little bit of softening, and then hopefully her unit can finish them. It should be a rapier. I completely agree with you, Mishaps, that she should be a, a rapier duelist. I think that was a fix because of the exact same levels those characters were in the first mission. It might be seeded T Ram, so it might be using the same seed. Um, what it might be doing is to prevent you save scumming by like um, doing the level up 
then restarting the mission and doing the level up over and over and over again, I think it saved the seed. I don't tell clear the divine line between Crossbow and Arbalest, but I think one of the possibilities Arbalest need a windlass to, lo to load. I think you're right, but I... Yeah, I'm not sure myself. Ooh. Ooh, they've got a shaman. Too late. He's already moved. He's already acted. You're too slow, Shaman. Oh, so you didn't curse the actual threat. The actual weapon. Although, I don't think she's going to get any kills here. Yeah, that's what I think it is, T-Rab. Good dodge. All right, remind me to fix the script on Parting Blow to attack the enemy with the lowest health. Oh, she's being a pest outside. Let me just do that now. Parting Blow. I don't know why I've got it in here twice. Let's get rid of one of these. Uh, remove. Um, condition. Also attack. Lowest HP. Um, I could also add in Rolling Axe, actually. Um and move it here and just set it so they only do it if the front row is full. Row with three plus combatants. Oh, so the fact that's three plus, does that mean we can get more? Shaman and Gladiator will be here for hours. No, we won't. It'll be fine. Heading there now. Gotta go. Cause, uh, because if it takes a long time, we're going to bring a Berengarius unit to finish this. Good choice. Well, They're on their way to finish this. Oh, Thanks, Don. It's like one of my biggest concerns is um, the neighbors being annoyed at the dog. I'm just going to skip this fight. Okay, that's two of them down. We're, I'm going to try and get the light unit in here to finish this now. I think they can do it. This unit here. Uh, okay, we're going to get Hodrick's unit to hit first. With ranged assist. Thing is, other people around us have barking dogs too, but I do try to keep her from barking too much. She's just very reactive, so she hears other dogs barking and she starts barking. It's a dog thing. Finish them. That's a good one. So we need that Roblox oof and finish them. One damage, nice. It's actually Hodrick's unit that kind of needs this kill. This unit is really underleveled. But they're not really doing any damage, are they? Okay, how are you guys going to do? Nothing. Oh, you're right, you're right, Don. It is just, this is going to take forever. Okay, we'll get Oban's unit in again. They're going to wipe them out. I'll go no further. I'm here too. I'll support you. A pitiful end I'm here too. I really you. don't want. Let's take. Let's get a little bit of XP. I really don't want to give it to um, Alvin's unit. They're so high level. I like how she leaves an after image when she moves. By the way, because she's so fast. I hate bulk up though. Okay, we're just gonna get Alvin's unit to kill these guys. It's gonna take forever otherwise. Put in just finish it. You got it. No running. I'm here too. The range assist is happening just so that the archers get some experience. Because they do get experience if the units get killed. That's maybe a good a good idea, Shinobo. Um, that's actually maybe a very good idea. Maybe what we do for the next stream is we rebuild some of their, uh, rebuild some of these units. Because some of them, like Lex's unit, is now an absolute offensive powerhouse. And I even think Elaine's unit has fallen behind a little bit. Gotta love a kill chain. And then a party blow. Nice. But that's a whim. Nothing stopping me now. 
Fizz attack, nice. Fizz attack's at 31, that's so high. And we save the town. That's a really good idea, Shinobu. Okay, I need to do something about the dog, she's going nuts. I'll be right back, I'm just gonna bring her in. Travis is probably my second best unit, you're right. We come with race. We starting resetting for that desert mission to a full rebuild of units. That's actually a good idea, Trog. Um, all right, we're up to 43 um, honor. That's my, my, my main goal here is to get 50 honor. Bass Path of Style Tank, Lomar, Lotto Dodge equal to high AC, yeah. He's a really good dodge tank as well. I actually gave him, he's, he's, I've actually given him a new sword that lets him steal um, AP instead of PP, but I haven't actually told him to do it yet. Um, Oh, there's a shrine up there. That's eight honors plus another four honors. Um, we might have enough to, we might have 50 honors. Our town is free, no thanks to you. I mean, how have we ever done this without you? By the way, you can catch a boat from here to a secluded shore. Well, let's check a couple of things out. First of all, this shrine. There's another strange carving on a monument here. Hmm, I've heard tell of a journal that's Oh yeah, wait, sorry, we need to find the journal. Strange, these works are lined up in a perfect circle. We can't do anything with that yet either. Uh, can we upgrade this town? Yes, we can. Yes, it does. I think we've got enough. So that's the last thing. Like that's, that's what I want to do right now. We should definitely have enough honors now. This town was well and she headed towards destruction. I fear what you've inspired without your aid. I can't think of enough for what you've done. I think I forgot to um, station someone at the other one. So we'll just make sure someone is stationed here. Um, what is this provision you're selling? Nothing that we really need. We used a lot of supplies in that mission, unfortunately. Oh, no, I want to check the armor. Armor has quick action, guarding impetus. Activates after guarding attack. Grant the user plus one AP. Hmm, that could be quite useful. Too expensive for me right now. All right, let's board a ship. Uh, I'd like to travel to the secluded shore. Let's see what's over there. Let's go boat. I haven't merged as much of the song, which is the UO theme to me tonight. Huh. Divine Shard. Divine Shard times two. Dew of Strength. Anything around here you can't see? No? Okay, that, was a, that was a good little grab. We need 20 Divine Shards to get ourselves uh, another Cornelian arm, arm, Amulet. Doesn't Hodrick guard a lot? Hodrick doesn't actually guard that much because he hasn't got that many people in his squad. That, that ability will get better the more people you have in a unit. Um, and you need to give us some with a lot of PP as well. All right, let's head to this town because I forgot to station someone here. I can't, so we actually need to level it up again. Well, let's, let's do that. Level two now. Can we station a guard here now? City started to bustle again, thanks to you. Might even be able to grab myself a proper drink. And now we still can't, sh okay. But what we can do is expand a unit. So let's increase the size of this unit because it's actually, we'll increase the size of Hodrick's unit, but we are going to rebuild our units. Okay, Hodrick's unit is now size four. So for the next stream, I'm going to rebuild our units and we're going to take on that desert warfare mission.
So I need to, if people could help me out with ideas for our unit designs in the Discord, I can post like this image in the Discord and we can work on it from there or um, I can post what we have. We still are not using all of our dudes because we still actually have, um, hang on, we still have in the in the background, we've got um, uh, Selvi our Shaman, we've got Nina, another hammer person, we've got Dennis, um, uh, he's a generic knight, We've got Renault, who is um, an advanced great knight who I don't really want to use. Uh, we've got Prim, who's another cleric. We've got Aramis, who's another fast sword fighter. And we've also picked up Jeremy, who is the same type of unit as Berenice. Um, so there's a lot of units we have in the background that we're not using either. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for now. Um, I maybe start the next stream a little bit later. So rather than starting at 6.30 my time, I might start it at 7 or 7.30 my time because it seemed like more people came along a little bit later on in the stream, although I know that's later for the UK people or the EU people. Let me know what you think about that as well. But uh, at least we got a couple of wins. Jeez. Um, like, that first battle was really scary. I thought we were, I thought we, I can't believe we didn't manage to pull that one out of the fire. Actually, it got so close at the end. Gravity is a really clutch ability. I actually need to have used it earlier. Double Baronese unit, disgusting. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's been a pleasure hanging out with all of you. You guys are all awesome. T Ram, thank you so much for the super chats. Same to you, Notorious. Uh, it was you that co-fied me, or was it? No, it was Shinobu. Shinobu, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, also, thank you to Mishaps, Notorious, and T-Room for modding as well. And thank you, Notorious, for jumping onto Twitch, so just keep an eye on things over there as well. I super appreciate it. Not much is happening on Twitch yet, but apparently, if I want to get invited to, like, the creator parts in things like PAX, I have to have a Twitch account. So that's why I'm streaming to Twitch as well, even though it's not really much happening there. All right. Have a great one, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll get some mana alerts out for you. There's also a Xenonauts that came out the other night if you haven't watched it yet. And for those of you interested in Nebulous, I will be working on the script for the voice lines as well when I get a chance today. Apart from that, I'll see you soon. I hope you have a fantastic, wonderful, amazing day. And I'll see you later. Ciao for now.